In this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how to model this building. It's actually a church. Uh, looks very cool. So I just wanted to share how uh, you can model it in Rhino using these planes. So let's start. I'm going to import the image into Rhino first. And I'm going to split this part here. Split. So I'm just going to use this as a reference to create uh, the initial lines. And later on, <clears throat> I'll use these plants to get the desired look. So I'm going to start drawing here just to get uh, the reference lines. This is all symmetrical, so I want actually that my geometry also uh, behaves as symmetrical. So I'm just going to need this one uh, edge and then I will mirror it and get it to work like that. I'm going to let this guy stretch it a bit. Like so. I'm going to divide this again, mirror it, join it, and delete this this part is different so let's change it it's higher so i'm just gonna get it as close as possible to the actual geometry i'm actually quite happy with this join this delete this guy move this up Bring it in, bring these guys out a little bit, also this one. And that would be my reference. The other side is the same, it's just the height is like around half the height. So I will use the same geometry. I'll divide it and let's see I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get the height here scale 1d like so and this should be my side so I'm gonna go to the perspective now rotate it and let's bring it up So this guy I'm gonna rotate 90 degrees. So this should be my shape. And I'll just copy this here. And here. And we can start working on it. So this is just the reference lines that I will use. I'm actually going to use this plane surface. Uh, this will be one symmetrical area. So I'll just need to create this part here. Uh, but then these four areas will also be symmetrical. So it will be symmetry in both directions.
will be something right here. So I just need to create this one, one element here. So I'm gonna go with these lines. I'm gonna select it. And now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start moving the vertices. until I get the shape that I want. I'm gonna speed up the video now and uh, once I have the shape, I'll show you the result. Okay, so now, now once I have this basic shape, uh, what I want to do is actually uh, mirror it as well on the other side. So let's just do this real quick to see, uh, to see the result. Okay, and now we need to modify this area here. Need to extend it a little bit more. Like so. And yeah, I'm getting trying to get its shape. So I think it's it's close enough. And and now let's uh, let's move on. So the next thing we want to do is actually um, let's modify all of this a little bit. You can see that it escaped a little bit the boundaries, like so. And once we have that, we can. Um, First, I'm going to show you how you can uh, how you can create this uh, this uh, different edging here and here. Uh, so first, I'm going to uh, the technique that I would use is a little bit um, like it's not so common but I find it much more useful than the, the technique that everybody else is using. So I'm just going to show you. So uh, the thing that we want to do now is let's kill the symmetry. Okay, so now let's make, uh, let's make a thickness out of this shape and we're gonna use thicken command 0.3 and we have our thickness. And now it's just a matter of um, refining the design and refining these uh, these edges. Uh, but before doing this, uh, I want to actually uh, create symmetry out of all of this so that um, 
I don't do it uh, all the time. Double work. So I'm just going to actually delete delete this area here, and I'm going to delete this area here. Okay. So now uh, let's make it symmetrical again. And one more time. Like so. Now, once I change, uh, now once I change the uh, one area here, it will automatically change as well on this side. So, so let's let's move on. So this needs to be thicker. Now we just need to make it um, uh, make it make the edges because the edges are too soft now. So the way to make the edges soft is by a simple uh, adding of the edges all around, and it's this is how we do it. So first let's uh, let's kill the symmetry here again. We don't need it anymore, and. And now let's just go to the edge mode and we need to add two edges. So I'm gonna press K. I'm gonna press add insert edge. And we want the edge to be very, very close to the bottom like this. I'm gonna do this on the, on the top one as well. Like so. So now when I go to the smoothing mode, you can see that the edge is sharp, which is what we wanted. And we need to do this uh, here as well. And here. And let's do it here as well to have all the four, all four corners uh, with the same treatment, like so, and this one as well. And that would be it. Now, when we go to the Subdivision mode, you can see that everything is nice and smooth. Okay, and let's convert it to Rhino. Done. I noticed that here it's not completely straight, so let's fix that. I'm just gonna use this as a guide. Move it here, stretch it out. like so and that would be good for me let's add this one here and here delete the rest and let's pull in split and you can delete this and this so this is our geometry i'm going to unlock everything else and now I'm just going to quickly create uh, the bottom. Uh, it will be something like this. Okay, let's move it. This is the middle. So something like this, I think will be enough. Uh, let me check the geometry here. Yeah, I think this is close enough. Maybe a little bit less. Okay. 
Okay. And let's just check. Let's just check the lines. I want to make sure that I have the proper offset all around. So this is 1.7. 1.7. There it is. And let's extrude it. Let's split it. And this is our result. Uh, let's split it here as well. Like so. And this is our uh, this is our church. I'll just add a couple of uh, more details here and I'll render it and show you the final result. Here is the final rendering, hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share. And make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.